Next thing is how long are these loans going to be on the books? So obviously we have to take your car loans, your first deed of trust, those types of things, and essentially come up with a decay rate. So we're going to take your whole portfolio, break them up into various layers in the age of their months. What was the original amount? What's the current balance? And then obviously what's been the monthly decay rate, you know, with your own internal portfolio. And then what we'll do is we'll seek or come up with a, you know, a formula that if we plug it in and say, okay, we take your original balance and we multiply it by the number of months it's been on the books. In this case, you know, it amortizes one and a half percent, a little more than one and a half percent a month. We're basically going to replicate the exact uh, way your portfolio is behaving. So that is the decay rate of your portfolio. So why is that important? Because we've got to take your current loan balance at 115 million and Cecil says, what are the losses over the life of that loan? So what we got to do is project forward balances uh, using the, the decay rate that's actually inside the portfolio. So that's step number one. Number two is we got to deal with prepayments. We obviously know that not all the loans are going to stick out the full term. They're going to be charged coming off the books uh, earlier than expected because of prepayments, those types of things. So what we do is we take the weighted average life of this portfolio in months. In this case, it's a little, you know, it's about 18 months. Uh, and we multiply it by two and a quarter and basically say, okay, after 39, let's say 40 months, the odds are that that loan is going to prepay, you know, based on this portfolio. So we just simply take your decay rate look at each and every loan and say, okay, 12 months from now, it's going to be 81%. 24 months from now, it's going to be 67% of that balance, 56% and 46%. We take two month old loans and then you know, multiply it by the same rates. But essentially we're coming up with a forecasted balance out in the future years. And then once a loan passes the 40 month mark, it comes off the books. Or said in other ways, this 115 million in loans over the next four years will amortize down to 84 million with pre made payments in there, 61 million, 36 million, and finally below 9 million. Now we stop at four years. We can go out five, six, seven, eight years. Uh, but as uh, we all know, one of the pillars of any financial accounting standard board pronouncement is this idea of materiality. And uh, it essentially says they don't want you to spend a million bucks chasing down a thousand dollars worth of risk. It's just not worth it. Uh, so we just stop at four years, but obviously, you know, we could go out five and six years uh, you know, if the client you know, needs it. But the balances are amortizing so fast, you know, the fifth year on this scenario is going to be, you know, less than 2%. So it's not even worth tracking. So if we add up these balances and compare it to, compare it to the current balance, Essentially, it's 1.66 times that current balance. So we're going to cross multiply every single loan, take it against its future forecast, and multiply those probability defaults, defaults in year one, year two, year three, and year four, and cross multiply it against all those balances. Thank you for your time. Again, this is Dan Havey from FinServe Analytics. Uh, there is my contact information. If you'd like to learn more about our subscription service, by all means, reach out to me. Uh, as we and we always offer the first analysis for free on a complimentary basis. The goal here is to learn your type codes, uh, you know, make sure the model's calculating properly, you get comfortable with the number, uh, you know, get that initial assessment. Uh, but that's where all the hard work takes place is during the complimentary phase. Once you sign up to be a customer, obviously we just simply get the files from you do all the reports, uh, and we turn it around very, very quickly, one to two business days. Uh, but we got to do that complimentary analysis first to set you up into the system. Uh, and then if you should decide to sign up for the subscription service, uh, we're going to turn it around within one to two business days. Thank you again. It's been my joy and pleasure walking you through Cecil Clearinghouse and looking forward to hearing from you soon.